I'm already just reading about Stubbs, I found a lot of really interesting things about him. I hadn't realised how marginalised he was oh, yes. prior yeah. to the um, last 50, 60 years, yeah. that he was yeah. just seen as a, as a, a horse painter. And for a hundred years or so after his death, he was virtually unknown. Yeah, yeah. obviously yeah, Whistlejack exactly. is going to be the star of the show. Mm -hmm. And I love all the stories around Whistlejack here. Mm -hmm. You know, the original was going to have George III on horseback yep. and, and, and the, the background. full background painted by somebody else and then they which abandoned is, that uh, idea which is a, well the owner or sorry the, 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 the patron abandoned that idea mm. when he saw um, the image that uh, Stubbs had created but of course now we interpret it there's an interpretation of it as even a king can't tame a horse like Whistlejacket well, I, I hope, love that I just hope that Whistlejacket is a bit carver on the wall here than he was <laughs> when he was being painted and of course we've got the skull of his lips 90% yeah. of today's horse racers, racing horses, That's... are descended from Eclipse. Yep. That yep. seems incredible. You look at the paintings of you know, the stable boys, um, the servants, they're much more sympathetic. But he was from a working class, uh, from a working class background. Yep. But it's interesting that without his determination to succeed, because he's self-taught, he, mm. he would have, we wouldn't know Stubbs now.